Hello, I'm Gavin Newsom, mayor of the city and county of San Francisco. A century ago, a great earthquake and fire nearly destroyed our city. With the earthquake, San Francisco's water system failed. Unable to fight the raging fires, much of the city burned. As the city rebuilt, the brightest engineers like visionary leader Michael O'Shaughnessy joined together with elected leaders to imagine and build an elegant new water system for the San Francisco Bay Area. A system spanning some 167 miles from the Hetchetchi Reservoir to San Francisco. Now, more than 70 years later, San Francisco and Bay Area leaders are again joining together to seismically retrofit and rebuild the aging water system to ensure reliable, high-quality drinking water for the Bay Area region for the next century. Historically, water has played as central a role in the development of the San Francisco Bay Area as gold itself. With the gold rush, San Francisco grew almost overnight from a frontier town to a bustling city of 40,000. Water was in short supply and unreliable, transported by mules and sold on the streets by the bucket. Between 1849 and 1856, the city burned to the ground at least six times. As the local water supply continued to lag behind demand, water shortages focused attention on the Spring Valley Water Company, who, by the late 1800s, monopolized San Francisco's water supply. By 1900, the public was clamoring for San Francisco to take over Spring Valley Water Company. But first, nature struck. The 1906 earthquake shattered water mains in seconds. Within hours, much of the city was engulfed in flames. Determined never to let San Francisco burn again, the city rebuilt, and the challenge of the day was for the city to develop its own reliable municipal water system. Surveys by city engineers determined Hetch Hetchy Valley, just inside Yosemite National Park, was the optimal site for a reservoir. After many years of debate, Congress passed the Raker Act in 1913. San Francisco's city engineer, Michael O'Shaughnessy, was chosen to lead the project. His mission was to build a monumental public works program that would supply high-quality, reliable water and clean hydropower to San Francisco and cities around the Bay for decades to come. The reservoir site was completely inaccessible, so the first thing he did was build a road followed by a 56-mile railway system, carting men and supplies for the 20 years that construction lasted. The O'Shaughnessy Dam was the world's tallest ever constructed at its time. The Coast Range Tunnel was the world's longest tunnel. O'Shaughnessy was building an engineering marvel to rival the Golden Gate Bridge, also under construction at the same time. Through World War I, the Hetch Hetchy Project crossed the Great Central Valley while the Great Depression brought the nation to a standstill. Amidst a faltering economy, one of the country's largest and most complicated public works projects kept many employed. In 1934, Sierra Water arrived at Crystal Springs Reservoir through the Pulgas Temple amidst cheers of thousands. Notably absent was Michael O'Shaughnessy, who died just two weeks before his final engineering masterpiece brought its first water to the Bay Area, 167 miles from its source. And for the past 70 years, O'Shaughnessy's legacy has been the lifeblood for a growing and thriving Bay Area. A pure granite base, 460 miles of watershed, and high elevation snowmelt ensure some of America's highest quality drinking water for 2.4 million people in more than 30 Bay Area communities. From the Hetch Hetchy Reservoir, water travels 70 miles through granite tunnels. Dropping thousands of feet, it powers turbines at three electrical generation stations which together produce the equivalent energy of 39 million gallons of oil each year. The hydroelectricity provides clean power to the Modesto and Turlock irrigation districts and provides power to the municipal load for San Francisco's streetlights, airport, and municipal railway system. 
In the Bay Area, Hetch Hetchy water is blended with local water through 6,000 miles of mains. For seven decades, it has sustained a growing population and supported the world's most dynamic economy. The Bay Area is what it is today because of the vision of great men like O'Shaughnessy. The system has never shut down for a single day in seven decades. Our responsibility today is to repair the system, an aging infrastructure in the middle of a seismically active region. In 2002, San Francisco voters approved bond authority to seismically renovate and repair the system. The Water System Improvement Program will upgrade the system with new technology, seismically retrofit aging reservoirs, tunnels, pipelines and dams, and bring the system into modern compliance with improved security. In 2004, the first local project broke ground at Summit Reservoir in San Francisco. In March 2005, the first regional project broke ground, an emergency intertie with the East Bay Municipal Utility District. Today, our work continues in design, engineering, environmental review, and construction, and public involvement continues to ensure an expedited and efficient water system. But capital construction and rebuilding the regional water system are not our only responsibilities. Just as important is our commitment to environmental stewardship, endangered species protection, and sustainable resource management. Through habitat conservation plans for our protected watersheds, hiking and recreational opportunities in the Sierra and in the Bay Area, and a transparent environmental review process for our capital programs, we will protect the health of the vital Tuolumne River and other natural resources and meet the water demands of a growing Bay Area region. Hi, I'm Ed Harrington, General Manager of the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission. We're updating our aging water system to prepare for the next major earthquake, which scientists predict will happen within the next 30 years. We're also finding ways to use water more efficiently through new recycled water, groundwater, and water conservation programs that help us conserve water while meeting growing demand. With more than a dozen reservoir, pipeline, and pump station projects complete in San Francisco, and dozens more starting throughout the region, we are committed to rebuilding the Hetch Hetchy water system to ensure reliable, high-quality drinking water for millions of San Francisco Bay Area customers. Vision, passion, leadership. These are the qualities born out of the earthquake and fire that leaders like Michael O'Shaughnessy called upon to build a magnificent water system. Now, a century after the great earthquake and fire, our challenges today demand those same qualities so that we can rebuild that great water system and deliver reliable, pristine water for centuries to come.